Got to turn on my timer. Anyway, I'm David Sokaitis, and I'm here to talk about the proposed administrative building. Now, I don't really have much of an opinion on whether the building needs to go up or not, because I need more data. Without data, I can't make an assessment. But I do have an opinion on how we need to talk about the building. And there's been a little too much acrimony, and I would like to see all that get washed away, and more peace and harmony and all that cool stuff. Okay. So, we had a petition. Um, went through some petition process, it was registered, but not reviewed. And then it was later ejected. Now, this just looks really bad. It looks like the city tries to set people up to, to not do petitions. And whether or not that's actually the case isn't really so important as looking bad, because if it looks bad, it feels bad. So, I'd kind of like to recommend um, cleaning up a mess. And, um, you know, there's been acrimony going back and forth and people accuse each other and we don't need that. So, to clean up the mess, I would like to see somebody just apologize for the confusion. Now, that's not the same as accepting blame, it's just trying to clear things up. And, you know, the process should be corrected so that this kind of thing never happens again. It's a way to build trust and rapport between citizens and council. Okay. And then, you know, if we get some trust going, then, then the people who accuse the city of being nefarious could have cause to apologize. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. And then, <sighs> clean things up. And then, you know, we've got this petition that 6,000 people signed, and I would like to see this city honor and acknowledge that petition in some formal manner. Don't know what the best way is. Maybe you could make a resolution, maybe a, a referendum, maybe some kind of election. But this accomplishment should be acknowledged in some formal manner. And I'll leave that exact implementation up to you, because that's your job. Sometimes when people get excited about something, they exaggerate a little bit. And then it gets harder to analyze the issues for what the issues really are. So uh, if at all possible, unrealistic claims should be substantiated or retracted. And if I ever come up here and say something that's totally off the wall, call me on it. I'll come back and say I screwed up. I uh, don't need pride. OK, now, when the city wants to build something, well, we go through this kind of a step. You need to sell bonds, you get bids, you get a contract, start construction. But one thing I've learned is that you can stop the process anywhere you want to, and you don't get nailed for it. So people are trying to say that the deal is done, and I'm saying, no, it's not done. It's not done until it's halfway up. Then you better finish it. But until then, it's not done. All right. So I've heard a variety of justifications for this new building, but I haven't seen any numbers. I've heard guesses that it's going to improve efficiency. Well, how much is that going to save? And I've heard estimates that you know we've got growing staff, but I haven't seen any numbers. Well, I'm a data scientist, among other things, so I found some numbers. And here we are. The purple line is a staff member, number of city staff over the last 10 years. Definitely going up. Uh, the red line is uh, a first order approximation of the trend. It's a linear fit, should be a logarithmic fit, but best I could do overnight. Looks like we're going to need some more space. 50 people in the next five years, 100 people, we're going to need some space. We'll need some spot to put them. Uh, but there's a whole series of unanswered questions along with us, like which offices are going to be combined? What are you going to do with the underutilized space? Um, other construction building options? So the proposal needs more work. It needs more data. But when the city goes and tries to shove something through without data, and when you avoid petitions, it just looks bad. Whether or not it is bad is a different question, but it looks bad. So I'm recommending that all of this mess get cleaned up and um, present more data to the citizens so we can take a better look at this large proposal and evaluate it in a reasonable manner. And with that, I bid everybody a good evening.